Hey guys, it's Lilac Rose 1990 and I'm back here with some of the MAC collection, the Boom Boom Bloom that I picked up not too long ago, it was about a couple of days ago and I'm very excited to try this new line. I have not bought MAC products in a very very long time. I have not done a video, a makeup video in like a long time and we're also going to be trying out huh, the Morphe X Jeffree Star and I love Jeffree Star. He's fucking hilarious. He's funny. He's outrageous. I also have a new, some other new products. They're not new but they're new to me so I'm going to be also trying the Too Faced Coco and we're also going to throw in this little kilowatt from Fenty and some more Fenty stuff and I'll explain why I threw in those with the supposed to be a MAC product um, video but before I get into myself um I want to explain where the hell I've been. I have not been doing makeup videos because I've been sick as a fucking dog. Really sick. And I don't want to edit out a cough every five minutes. So um, I have not been doing any videos. I've been relaxing. I've been working. When you work for the public school district and you have kids and their parents do send their kids home from to school sick as a dog, you're going to get sick too and everybody's going to get sick and it's just going to be a whole fucking throw up mess. So, um, that's what happened. So let me explain a little bit of who I am. I am Lilac Rose 1990. I do anime music videos. I do makeup tutorials, unboxing reviews. You guys can check out my Sailor Moon S Super S unboxing link down below. Um, I don't have the little eye pop up. We're almost to a thousand subscribers. Let's get there. Please thumbs up, subscribe, comment. It helps my channel. It helps me grow. So <clears throat> first of all, before we get into any more shit, this uh, video is actually sponsored. Actually sponsored by the book, Your Side of Midnight. Oh my gosh, it's an amazing book. You guys should check it out. It is free on Amazon. And it is also, well, it's free on Amazon. You have to pay for the actual book, but you could actually read some of it. And it's actually free for Kindle Fire readers. So if you guys have a Kindle Fire, check it out. Give them guys some love. They're a small indie company. Um, they're very, very good. Um, it's a very, very good story. So if you guys like something like mysterious, dark, and it's just out there. So it's a really good, interesting book. Um, I was reading a couple pages myself. It's very, very interesting. I'm going to try to get an actual physical copy so I can show you guys what the book looks like. Um, this is by Kay Baldwin and Layra Ricky. Hopefully I did not butcher those names. Um, so yeah, check that, check that book out and give them some love because they actually sponsored this channel and I was, I'm actually a small YouTuber and they're a small indie brand. So hey, we're all working together and they actually sponsored me a brush. So they're like, hey, you sponsor us, we'll give you a free gift. So they gave me a free little brush. It almost looks like the NARS one. It could be the NARS one, I don't know. Um, you know, it's a little brush. So let's roll that clip. We didn't do it for the fame of the glory. I'm back. I'm back. I don't even know where to start. I have so much makeup that I've been buying over time because I'm like, I want to do a video of this, a video of this, a video of this. And I just want to bring back. So we're going to start with the Jeffrey Morphe Star Brushes. I've been having this. I missed the first launch that this came out. So I got the second batch and I was so pissed because they're like, okay, now we're going to sell them at Ulta's and I'm like, really? It took me, I thought these were limited edition, so I guess they're not no more. Um, so I do want to pick up more of these because they are my favorite color and I do love Morphe. None of this makeup is sponsored. The only thing that was sponsored was the book. Um, so none of this makeup is sponsored. Mac did not give me none of this or else, you know, they would have gave me the whole collection. Morphe did not give me this, even though they, I should have a Morphe code because I, all my brushes are pretty much Morphe. Um, so yes, I had to buy this because it's my favorite color and I love Morphe. So I did use them. I used one. I didn't use the other one. So as we take it off, we do have this cute little pink bag and it says X Morphe, uh, blah, X Morphe and X Jeffree Star on the side. Here it is. I'm sorry. I am talking way so fast, but I like how it has this like metallic little binding. I like that. And it does zip all the way. So it is pretty big. You can put a lot of brushes in here. If you guys remember, um, I did get the Laura Lee set. So this is kind of like my second set. Um, they don't sell the Laura Lee one no more. 
You have to buy her brushes separately, sadly, but I did pick up her set when she was still kind of popular. The only one, <laughs> the only brush that I did use from Jeffree Star was this one. And I used my Anastasia on this and I, oh my god, I love this um, because like he said, it is really razor thin. And yeah, I love it. It's really thin. That's why it's a little bit dirty. I've tried cleaning it. It kind of stained it. But other than that, I love this brush. I have not used the other one. So here we go. We're going to take these out. And we're actually going to test these brushes today. Um, that's why all my other brushes are dirty because I did do a client's makeup at work yesterday. So my brushes are filthy and I need to wash them. They are on the side. I do have extra brushes. And I have these pink ones that we're going to be trying today. So we have this one and this one, I don't know. I like this how it looks, like little taper powder brush you can put on the side. So I definitely will be liking to try these. So definitely going to try this. And that's good, it gave me a foundation brush because all my foundation brushes are dirty. You can never have enough foundation brushes. So I'm excited to try this one. And this one might be my favorite one now because it is pink, it's Jeffree Star, and it's Morphe. And all my brushes, all my foundation brushes are Morphe ones. So like you can tell, I have all the Morphe brushes that are pretty much foundation brushes. But the one I've really been using the most is the It Cosmetics one. Because I just love it because it's cute, it's pink, and it's a heart. So I've been using that one, but I do have to clean it because it is dirty. Um, so that's one Morphe brush that I use. So I'm going to, I'm excited to use this one. <clears throat> the next one we have is a contouring brush. Um, I don't know, this is kind of big for a contouring brush because this reminds me almost a little bit and I do kind of want to do a comparison of the Too Faced one the Too Faced highlighter brush so it kind of looks almost like that and yeah I'm a little bit on the fence of it but you know what we're gonna give it a roll and we're gonna try it so yeah I'm excited to try those um the next one we have our regular little eye brushes and I love these you can never have enough of these I I have so many of like brushes like these because you you just have to have multiples because if you have a dirty one you have to have a clean one so yes I love the brush brushes like this and I'm excited to use them I'm excited to use all these brushes oh my gosh and here's like another highlighting brush and I love this because I just bought more highlighter and I'm excited to use this so we're gonna definitely use this on the kilowatt so pink and pink yes 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 let me get rid of that really quick so we have this other one right here. So this you can do your whole face with this and your eyes with just these brushes. But I mostly use more brushes because I'm that kind of person. So yes, here is this one. And I, I'm excited to use these on all the MAC palette. So yes, my MAC palette is going to be able to use these. So what I did pick up from the MAC store, um, what was it? Friday when this, no, Thursday when this launched. Um, I got it exactly when it launched on Thursday, so it is out now, so you guys can pick it up. I didn't pick up the whole thing because I cannot afford the whole thing. So, um, I love this theme. It is a, it is a spring collection. This is the Boom Boom, um, spring collection. This is the Prep and Prime. Um, it smells like, I guess it's supposed to smell like Sakura. Um, it is pink, with pink cherry blossoms falling down with a white, like, glittery box. I really, really love this. And here is the primer. I'm not going to use this because I just bought the Morphe setting spray. So I am going to test it on camera today. Mm, and I can smell it now. It smells so good. So if I find another one of these when I get paid next week or next month uh, or actually next week, I'm going to buy another one because these smell so good. That's the only thing makeup I'm going to buy because I'm trying to stay away from buying makeup. Like I bought so much makeup. It's insane. Um, <clears throat> Also, what I bought was the uh, Kabuki Doll eyeshadow palette. So this is my second MAC eyeshadow palette. And when I mean this is my second one, this was my first one. I kind of went upgraded. Um, I got this one at, in the holiday collection for this year. So that's what came with my little baggie. I did love it. So I love these shades. So I'm excited to see how this one performs. This is what the box looks like. It is cherry blossom theme. Like I said, very, very beautiful. It gives me a, a lot of Japan vibes. Like I, I just love it. I love anything Japan. That's why I bought this set because I, oh, it amazes me. So here's what the palette looks like. It's cute. It also reminds me, <clears throat> the first one that I saw like this was the Ilia one. Um, that one I didn't really pick up because I didn't like the colors. I'm sorry. The only thing I got with Leah was 
one lipstick let me grab it really quick so i did have to support her a little bit so i bought one lipstick and it, this one is in the shade keep try again and i really like that song and honestly i don't really like the color on me because it's like a tan beige color but i still love it so i had to support her so i bought one Aaliyah lipstick um i do have some more of the selena one that's really old um it does have the shadows on here this is the eyeshadow of kabuki doll set uh it does have dust off it has making movie moves <laughs> it says tokyo drift it has don't be a koi it has space destiny it has um bamboo i can't even read that bamboo's lat is lead or something like that a fortune cookie kabuki doll and kyoto kitty i don't know which one is which because these palettes are so weird i wish mac would spend a little bit more money and maybe print them on here or something or make this a little bit bigger um, but these little palettes are cute i just love this it has like cherry blossoms all over it and when i open it up on the inside it does have a little protective thingy which i'm gonna keep so the shadows won't get so gross and ugly and here's what the inside looks like it does have like a rose gold plating and i just like how this window is it's like cherry blossom theme realness and these are like your normal neutral grays and not i'm not gray i'm sorry browns and like light pinks this is like an everyday palette you can just throw in your purse and you know fix up your eye makeup a little bit so we're definitely going to try this with the jeffree star so i'm excited to try that i'm excited to play with this and i've also picked up one of these lipsticks um this one is this one is cherry mochi and i just liked it um i like anything mochi mochi is like my favorite um i like mochi ice cream more than the mochi like gooey one um yeah so i always get that when i go to the japanese store but the packaging is so cute it's white and it has pink cherry blossoms all over it like the palette does it's super super cute let me get that so the camera can focus very very cute and here's the side um this was 30 dollars and this was i believe this was 38 and this was 30 dollars this is 19 or 18 dollars i think this one's 18 50 and i think the lipsticks are 19 50. the lipsticks went up in price because i remember they used to just be 18 dollars so um i'm gonna take out this and i don't know if mac is animal cruelty free i love mac you know i i heard they are i don't know i'm not gonna get all into that but anyway here's what it looks like it's a beautiful reddish pinkish Oh, I like this color. Oh my God, the packaging. The packaging is so cute. And um, I saw this review first with, um, what's her name? Macaholic. And she's great. She's awesome. And I was talking to her, like, I did give, like, Mac a heads up to, like, do a cherry blossom theme. But she was giving me back history. And, you know, I understand. And I thought it was just great of her. We didn't argue or anything. It was just friendly conversation. And, and that's what made me still pick up this collection to this day because i still want to support mac um i did give them like when they wanted to hear from the fans like you want to i told them to do like a japanese korean cherry blossom anime theme and months later a uh, cherry blossom theme so um you know I, i'm not really going to argue about it but i'm happy that they came out with something really cute because i haven't picked up a mac product in years because i've been buying all these other products and i wasn't really interested in mac until they came out with a japanese theme one and i love it and i'm just so cute and then they i get to try it out with the new jeffree star brushes and i it's it's amazing so i am amazed from that um i'm excited for that so that's cherry mochi and this is the kabuki doll palette and the cherry blossom sakura setting spray which I want to pick up like two or three more of these because they smell so freaking good. And the Morphe setting spray that is so good. It has like a perfumey smell, but it's also good and it smells good. Um, what also I picked up were these Fenty little sticks, which I'm going to try. These are actually my friend. She wanted me to review them. So I'm actually going to try these and they're pink since they're pink and stuff. They might go good with this like Sakura spring look that we're kind of doing. So I'm wearing pink nails. I have a pink shirt it's spring it's almost spring winter's almost over so get rid of that cold season and let's start this um my next item that i'm going to be unboxing is the kilowatt from fenty beauty and why do i have the kilowatt and i don't have the spring collection to the boom boom collection is because the 
um, Boom Boom one, the soccer, it was so pretty, but it disappointed me because it was an overspray. I don't want an overspray product. I want full on glitter. If you're selling a highlighter and it just has an overspray of it, uh, you're not getting my money. That's one reason why I didn't buy it and I just went for the kilowatt because it was giving me the same, almost the same thing, but it was, it was beautiful. So this is what the box looks like. And this is one of their new brands, a kilowatt. And yeah, it's beautiful. So this is what the packaging looks like. Ooh, it even has like a metallic -y glow of like pink. I don't know if you can see like almost an iridescent and here's the back it says kilowatt the sticker is upside down i don't know if that was meant to be like that or was it factory or something but i did pick this up at sephora um oh my god and i was playing i was looking at it that's why i have fingerprints on it i was kind of playing and testing it out i didn't want to touch the fb because i didn't want to mess it up but this is what it looks like so these it's supposed to look like this the boom boom collection one um, but it was an overspray, so I had to make sure this one wasn't an overspray, and it's not. It's full pink glitter, and that's why I picked it up, so I can go with the um, Boom Boom collection. So I'm excited for this, and my friend also did get me this for my birthday, so I'm kind of excited to try this out with the Jeffree Star brushes. So since I have a contouring brush, and it's weird, but the Too Faced one actually comes with a contouring brush. It comes with the little Kabuki one, and here's what that looks like, so I'm excited to try this. So, as <laughs> we did all this, let's get into this review. Okay, I'm back, you guys, and I did prime my eyes with my MAC Painterly Pod, and I love this thing. So, pick that up. Um, <clears throat> so, we're going to go in with the eyeshadow palette. We got the Kabuki Doll palette, and I got my Jeffree Star brush, and I don't know which one this one is. This one is JS6, and I love this. Um, it's pink. So what I'm going to go in with, I'm actually going to go in with this one right here. I don't know which one this one's called, but I'm just going to go in there. And like any Morphe brush, it grabs the product beautifully. Um, I just love that. So I'm going to actually grab my Jeffree Star brush, or my Jeffree Star Mira. I have a lot of Jeffree Star stuff now. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just going to go sweep in motions right here. Ooh, and you know what? I, Max eyeshadows are known to be some of the world's best best and you know what i have to agree with them because this just went on really smoothly really nice very pretty and i just stroked it on in here just gonna put it on my eyelid and i'm gonna dip this in and i'm going to do a little bit more so i'm gonna tap off some excess i like it to go really really dark on my eyes i like really i like light and dark colors but i'm gonna try to keep this almost like a spring look so i'm going to actually do that with the other eye. Like I said, these are almost, these are natural hairs, so it's going to get funky just like our hair. Um, so I'm going to go in a little bit more. So I'm actually going to take this same brush, but I'm going to clean it a little bit. I'm just going to dab it on this little makeup cleaner just to clean it up and I'll brush it away and I'll put that right there and I'm actually going to go in with a pretty much down like a row pretty much down the row so I'm going to take the center one and I'm going to pretty much repeat the same thing that I did so I'm going to grab a little bit of this and I'm going to set that down and I'm just going to do the same thing. Sweet motions. I only had to do that one time since I did have already a layer of brown on there. So I'm actually going to do the same thing and repeat it on the other eye. And that was really, really nice. Which one thing I wish this set would have came with is a flat head brush. And what I mean by a flat one almost something like this like a flat one so you can grab the glitter it would be easier but it didn't come with one maybe that could have been like a seventh piece to the sixth piece um who knows he, he might come out with his own brushes one day and they might be morphe style but just his cosmetics line so i'm going to clean this brush off and i'm going to go pretty much like i said go down the list because he doesn't have a lot of brush options and I'm really testing out these brushes. So 
I'm going to go like right here. Oh, and this is a pretty purple or almost like a brownish purple. And it reminds me of the one that I got in the ColourPop set, the Disney one. Um, It's in my feed so you guys can watch it. I don't, I'm not going to have it in the description below unless, you know what, I'll put it in there. So it makes it easier for you guys to find. If you guys want to watch my Disney one by ColourPop, you guys can. And what I'm pretty much going to do is I'm just going to stamp away. Just stamp a stamp a stamp a. And I'm going to flake it up a little bit. I get a little bit more. And I like how these brushes are performing. You know what? I know how Morphe brushes perform because I have all my brushes are Morphe brushes. So I know how they're going to perform. Like I have Morphe brushes. I know how to use them. So I'm going to do almost a halo eye. So I'm just going to cover up this side and this side. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm just going to put a little bit right here. I'm just going to fan it out. I'm going to do the same thing to this corner. Pretty much just stamp it in there and fan out. like how this performed so what I'm gonna do <coughs> is I'm gonna take pretty much this one this brush and this one is the JS5 and I'm pretty much just going to blend it all in there just blend it blend it blend it and just make those um, corners cleaner than what they are so oh I love brown shadows I love pinks so what I'm going to do next is, um, this glitter is probably not going to stick, but we'll try it. Um, I don't really have like a flat brush. So I'm going to go in with this julep one and this one's called a shader and it's almost flat. So I'm going to try it dry and I'm going to use this like pinky color right here. So, um, let's dip into that and see how it works with my Mac one. Like I said, I like to scrape up with the glitter because you don't want to lose any glitter product. Um, I'm going to put this on this center of the eye and see how that works. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm getting some fallout, but you know what? It's not really sticking. It's not really doing what I want it to do. So what I'm going to do, it looks really, really faded in the eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap that off and I'm actually going to use some of this Fix Plus spray. So I, I try not to waste this, but oh, that smells so good. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of that Fix Plus and I'm going to go back in with that rose gold. Ooh, that setting spray smells so good. So if you guys can get two, I would get two. Um, so let's see how, oh, see, that's way much better. Way, 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 way much better. That's why you wet the brush so you can get a little bit more payoff. Here you go. So like you said, you could just get a little bit more and we're actually going to put that right there and we're going to actually blend it in with that pink a little bit. So I like that. So we're going to do the same thing to the other eye. All right. So that's the JS6. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab the JS5 and I believe that's what that is. The one that we had. So I'm going to clean this off a little bit. And I'm going to grab my Kabuki doll palette and I think I'm going to go in with this color right here. Um, I don't know what it's called. I'm guessing it's called um, Dust Off. Maybe. <laughs> I'm guessing it's called Dust Off and it's this pretty like silvery one right here. And I'm actually going to mix it. I'm going to mix it with this, this second one, this one down here. So I'm going to go into these two. I'm going to tap that off. I'm actually going to use this on the top of my eye and I'm going to blend it in with the rest. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. So I like how that came out. That's like a glittery effect. Wow. There you go. So I like how that came out. So I'm actually going to blend those two again. Okay, so this is how my eyes came out. I love it how they came out. 
I'm going to stop right there, but I'm actually going to use this brush now, this little spoolie brush, and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with my Anastasia. I'm going to show you how to do one and then I'll do one off camera just to show you how this brush works and how I do it. What I like to do is I like to heat it up with my breath because it is a little bit cold and when it is cold, it's cold in Colorado, it gets a little hard. So. <clears throat> All right, so what I like to do is I like to sculpt from the bottom. And everybody does their eyebrows differently. I know I sure do. And I just pretty much just fill them in. And that's pretty much all I do because you can see a difference. It's just darker. That's all it is. Just fill them in and that's pretty much all I do. So let me do the other one off camera. Okay guys, so I'm back here and I'm about to do foundation. I went in with my Marc Jacobs primer. This is like one of the best ones. I never like doing my makeup without it. I use my Too Faced one for work. I use this one for professionally if I'm at home because um, it is very expensive. I am going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way and this one is in the shade Natural Beige. Um, so yeah, I want to see how this foundation brush works. See if it's almost similar to the other ones because this one is like a softer dome. Um, I know these pink hairs are going to be dyed brown in like a few years. So let's see how it works. So I'm going to do one pump in one and a half because that's what I usually put. I use so much foundation on my face and I do have a really big face. So this one is the JS1 um, Morphe brush. So let's see how this works. I'm going to go in with this brush and I like how it picked up some of the products. So I'm going to right here, right here, and right there, and right here on the nose, right here on the lips. And let's pretty much just tap in here and see where it goes. Okay, as I was doing my face, um, there's some complaints that I have to say about this one. It is very, very, very soft. Um, I'm not used to soft brushes because it's, just, it's really hard to like move it. You know, you want to move to the side. You don't really want to drag down. Um, I like to pat in there like a sponge. Um, this brush is really, really fucking soft. I'm used to like really hard ones like these. That's why like it's it just it's just a little bit easier for me to like kind of control my product. But other than that, the brush is good. It it did apply everything. Look at me, look at me, because I'm so used to these hard ones. Uh, so I'm not really used to really really soft flimsy ones. The hairs on this are really really long. They could have tightened it up a little bit, maybe make it like this tight, but. I don't know. I, I'm going to still try to give it more of a try. I'm not really liking this brush because it's too whimsy and movie. I'm used to something very, very hard um, and <laughs> like a hard dick. Um, but other than that, uh, it, it, it looked perfect. It made my, it did make my skin look very airbrushed and I want to get the ear. I like it so far. So you can see a difference from foundation to all my fucking redness. Yeah, I have a lot of redness. That's why I wear foundation because I look like a strawberry. So other than that, I like how it looks. Um, let's do the other side of the face. Okay guys, so I'm back here and I almost dropped my mirror. I'm back and I did use this whole brush. I did not try to go in with the, which I like to call the Manny one. So that's weird. So I, let me grab my other brush real quick. So, okay, so I'm back here, guys, and I have these three. It's so weird to have these because I have the Manny MUAs. This is his favorite one. This is Laura Lee's favorite one. This came with the Laura Lee set. And then I have the Jeffree Star one, which is insane. I gave this one to my sister because I'm like, I don't really need so many foundation brushes, and she didn't have one because I just bought the It Cosmetics one. I was like, you can have the Laura Lee one. 
So, yeah, but she's not keeping my Jeffree Star one. This is mine. Yes. Um, I do like it. It did put the foundation on evenly. Um, it was kind of hard because, you know, I don't really use sponges and I put foundation on my nose. Um, I don't have the Jeffree Star sponges because they were all sold out. So I did buy the Real Technique, the Real Technique one. So yes, I, I did buy that one. Um, it is very, very soft. It, it's also, it's almost the same like the Morphe one, um, as I was told. So I'm just going to go in there and just pretty much just press my foundation in like a good girl. Um, let's go in there and just press, press, press. And that's pretty much it. I like how it did this foundation because usually when I'm so used to doing my makeup, um, the brushes make it kind of streaky maybe because I'm going so fast, but since I did it properly and I'm taking my time, this brush was awesome. So I do like this brush. At first I was like, mm, it's kind of whimsy, but when I got used to it, I'm like, okay, okay. I like how this is feeling. Okay. So I just had to work myself in it since I'm so used to working with something so hard. Other than that, so it was good. So I am going to go in with my ColourPop. And when I mean my ColourPop, I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I love this. It's so freaking bright on me though. So you got to kind of work fast because it does dry really, really fast. So what I'm going to do is just make some streak lines right here. And you got to kind of work pretty fast with this foundation. It's kind of like almost like the when you're doing the Fenty foundation. I haven't tried the Fenty concealer, but other than that, it was amazing. Like so. Oh God. Yes, 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 yes. So like I like to do is I like to just spread it around and pretty much use the um, color pop as a highlighter for under your eye. That's all I like to do. And that's why I wanted a dome because like, as you can see, the dome really helps get close to that eye and it helps spread it around. So other, it was good. So I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my other side this does and i love it so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to actually try the um i'm going to try this brush and this one is the js2 and it is this brush right here it's kind of domey it reminds me of almost like almost the same material too and color of the tart one that i got like back then they're almost like the same pink um and they're about the same height too but this tart one has kind of gotten kind of ugly because I don't know. I hardly even use it and it just started going like this. And I even tried fixing it and going like this and kind of brushing the hairs, but it just doesn't want to fix. So I got this one and I'm going to try it on the Patrick star powder. Yay. <laughs> um, I'm so glad I got this because this thing sold out so fast. And I, I was like, I just want this at least. I just want this. And I'm glad I got this because I love Patrick Star and I love Jeffree Star. They should do like something together. Uh, but I don't know. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this and it does grab it really well. So let me just tap a little bit off because there's a shit load. And what I'm going to do is pretty much just bake under the eye. I don't really like wasting the Patrick powder because it is limited edition. And Mac really doesn't sell powder, at least this kind of powder. This is his own kind. This is, I think he made this one. So yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit right here and a little bit on my nose. And I'm just going to let that bake. That's what they call baking. So I'm going to let that bake a little bit. I do want to pick the Huda one up because this, that one's almost the same what I heard as the Patrick's powder, if you want something similar. Um, if anybody knows anything that's similar to the Patrick powder that is like still for sale because I know this isn't, please let me know in the comments below so I can pick it up because I really do like this and I don't like to use it all because I don't want to use it on. I'm sad and yeah. <laughs> so as we put that on, I'm excited. Um, I don't want to let it bake too hard. So I'm going to wipe away already. Um, I really like using my Luxie brush. This is my favorite one because it's big and bulky, but it is dirty and I use it on a client. So I'm not going to use it on me, but I do have my Mr. Right brush from Too Faced. He did lose his little bow, but it's okay. I hardly use him anymore. I remember I used to use him all the time. And he was getting a lot of love from me. But now that I got all these other brushes, I really don't use my Mr. Right brush anymore. 
So thank you Mr. Right Brush. He wiped that right away and this, oh my makeup is looking very snatched. So I'm liking this. I'm loving this so far. So <laughs> we got everything pretty much down. Um, the only thing I don't have down is the, we're going to try this brush and this one is the J53 and this one is a contour brush. So I'm going to try on this new Too Faced Chocolate Contour, Coca Contour. Uh, my friend got me this for my birthday. So I'm pretty excited to try this. I've been wanting to get this for a very long time. Um, I just didn't get it because it is expensive and I did find it at TJ Maxx so it really helped a lot. So what I'm going to do is like go with more of the, actually you know what, I'm going to use the little Kabuki one. I don't want to ruin the Jeffree Star one because I'm going to go more with the white powder which you can so I'm gonna, ooh, and it smells like cocoa so i'm gonna go in with the white shade and i don't know what it's called it's called light coca and it's this one right here and i'm actually the bottom white one has like the flakes of glitter in it which is kind of weird so i'm going to flake it down i'm going to go in the center of my nose i'm actually going to pinch it like this and actually go in there Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a chocolate, like hot chocolate or something. And I'm actually going to go a little bit around my eyebrows. All right, so I'm actually going to go in next with the JS5, I think the JS3. And I'm going to go in with, let's try dark cocoa, which is kind of really, really dark. Um, let's go in there tap off some of the excess and here's dark cocoa it's right here Too Faced is known to have some of the best like contouring stuff I you oh my god so I made like a brown see this is why I was like I don't know how he uses this for contour this is so thick like I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna be using this for my contour because it's too thick and I don't know <sighs> yeah so I'm gonna get that foundation brush and I'm going to even that sucker out it's way too thick so only a little bit of this brush I don't know how he uses this but it he used it like professionally I'm not a professional makeup artist I just do my own but I am learning so let's actually learn I do have a very big nose and I like my big nose I don't really contour it because you know, it's who I am. It's my heritage. I'm Hispanic, so I have a big nose. And contouring it very smallly. I usually use my fingers because it, it it helps better. So I just use my fingers, get that right there. The bridge of the nose. And I'm just going to contour it with my fingers because I feel like that's like the best tool. So I'm just going to wipe that on the wiping and I'm just going to get this and kind of just buffer it out. So now that I buffer that out, oh, it looks pretty nice. It looks a little bit thinner. Um, who needs plastic surgery when you can just use a contour palette? So I'm going to do the same thing with this and I'm going to actually get the same color. And I'm going to use this one, the contouring brush. I pretty much use all of these Jeffree Star brushes. They're amazing. So I'm going to contour my cheeks. And since I have a fat face, um, this kind of brush really does help because I use an even bigger one. I use like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in with this Morphe brush. And this is a Morphe 7.3 and I love this one. And I'm just going to blend it back to my cheeks. So now that I did that, that looks pretty good. It doesn't look too bad. Wow, I'm surprised. Oh, so I do contour my face. Um, I do kind of want to use this like pink.
pinkish one but I don't really know where it would go so you know what I think I kind of do so we're going to use this one and this one is called pop of light so it has like a little bit of glitter in it so I'm just gonna go in here I'm gonna use this one here and I'm just gonna put it right right here where the contour where you usually put highlighter but I'm not using this as highlighter there we go and I'm actually gonna put this on the bridge of my nose too there we go Ooh, I like how this contour palette works. It's better than the Kat Von D one. Um, I still like my Kat Von D. Don't, no shade towards her. Um, so anyway, I like how this all came out, this look. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the lips. And I'm going to use this. And this one is Cherry Mochi. And oh gosh, I don't have a lip liner that goes to this. So I'm actually going to use this Makeup Forever. And this is in red. And I bought this for the Disney collection. I'm kind of glad I did because I don't have a red lip liner. So let me go in with this really quick. Okay, so I went in with this red lip liner and this one is called, I don't know, Full Red. And it's a natural red. Um, this is not a natural red. It kind of has like a little pink in it, but it's almost similar. So I'm going to put that back in there. So this is the cherry mulching. The design on it is beautiful. Like I was showing you guys earlier, it does have like the cherry blossoms around it. And it's very, very pretty. So I did not wear this. I'm going in with it and... I'm going to put it on. So let's see how it looks. For cherry mochi, this almost looks like pink more than red. Um, I like how it looks. It's very, very pretty, very, very spring. It, it, it kind of goes with this look. I have like browns and pinks and I'm wearing pink so it does almost go with this look. So the next thing that we're going to try is pretty much the last Jeffree Star brush and it is like a highlighter brush and we're going to do it with the Fenty Kilowatt. So I don't, I didn't pick up the MAC one like I said because it was just an overspray and it, it was terrible, 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 terrible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Kilowatt and it's very, very pretty. It has the Fenty Beauty on there. I'm excited. So let's swirl and see what we get. Ooh, girl, yes. I don't like to tap off any of my highlighter because I'm a highlighting whore like Jeffree Star. Oh my God. Fenty. Yes, yes, yes. So I love this already. It's pink. It goes with the um, look. I'm going to actually blend it in with the eye. So it looks like the eye is like bleeding into my face. Ooh, yes, yes. You can barely see it on my crappy camera, but you know what? It's pretty. And I don't know. We're actually going to put some on this side. I might pick up the other fancy one, that ice cold one. Because that one was pretty too, but I was mostly interested in this pink one to go with like this springy look. So I'm going to blend it in with his. I'm actually going to put a little bit on the bridge of my nose and right here. All right, so that's pretty much this whole look. I did this whole look different with using different products. I didn't really get into the crayons because I'm like, I was going to use these, but let's see what I can really do with them I might use them on my minute next video but no I have the crayons I have the crayons and I might use them on my next makeup video I was thinking about it I'm like hmm I don't know they wouldn't really go with anything I like how this turned out so I don't really want to mess it up um actually let me throw some eyeliner and some lashes okay guys so I'm back here and I did throw on some lashes they're not from Lily lashes they're from Korea or Japan um they came with a whole fucking pack I think I showed them in a video. They were like, they had like Tinkerbell on it. <laughs> so anyway, so I used my liquid eyeliner by Too Faced. I love, 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 love. And I used my favorite mascara, Better Than Sex. These actually two came together in a pack um, at Ulta's. They don't sell it anymore. I wish they did. I would have, I should have bought more. But my mascara, I don't wear makeup every day. So yeah, I don't really need like 20 of them. So yes, other than that, the Real Technique sponge was amazing. Um, the palette by MAC was amazing. The brushes by Morphe never fail me. I love them. The highlighter, amazing <laughs> again. 
and the contour palette by Too Faced loved it everything I love that I use um, I'll leave a list of everything that I use including the brushes on the description below so you guys will know what I use what products that I use and if they're available or not so if I was you I would pick up these the boom boom collection especially the setting spray which I haven't used yet so let's set spray this bitch down oh okay so ooh, that smells fucking good Ooh, it tastes good too it tastes like flowers so I'm actually going to put this back in the box because I'm not going to be using it I still have my morphe one I want to use that one first and I also have like another setting spray by Mac that still needs to get used as well it's just the regular prep and prime one I didn't even buy a coconut one or nothing like that um but I do love the morphe setting spray but you can always put two setting sprays on Woo, girl yes so that was my video today I'm sorry you guys I've been gone for so long this is my makeup look not too bad I know how to do makeup okay um I like the pink lips they're a little bit strong I kind of look like a hooker but you know <laughs> whatever I don't care as long as you feel good and you look cute you know who cares what people think what you say have fun with colors that's what they make them for I'm tired of brown palettes none of these things were sponsored the only thing that was sponsored was the book I bought all of this with my own hard-earned money. Like I said, if Mac was giving me this whole collection, he should have gave me more than two pieces, three pieces. So, um, like Too Faced, none of this was sponsored. None of the Morphe stuff was sponsored. I don't have a code. So let's hit to a thousand. So thank you guys for watching my video today, watching my look. And this is the little look that I came up with. And have a good day. Bye.